ko te rio rio a kia ki uta, ko te whakataki mai a tōrua ki tai, he kōtuku ki te raki, he kākapo ki te whinua. 80% of our birds, of our endemic birds, are, are in trouble. And that's a higher proportion than any other country that I can think of. And so we have huge tracts of forests that are just silent. So birds are, for most New Zealanders, their bridge to the natural world. So birds are inherently important. You know, the, so many of our bird species are found only here. If we lose them here, they're lost to the world forever. It sort of crystallises New Zealand's conservation challenges to keep what's unique to New Zealand and what we give to the world as our unique contribution to that avian biodiversity. And so that is a really hard fact, is that um, New Zealand's got a huge way to go to get its um, endemic birds back into those landscapes. So the key objective is to collect bird observational data that helps make conservation management decisions, particularly relating to habitat restoration and predator control. The Atlas is really the biggest, um, I think, citizen science project in New Zealand. It involves um, people from the Ornithological Society of New Zealand, or Birds New Zealand, and others um, in collecting information about what birds are where. I think the Atlas is a good example of where it's a project that everyone can buy into and everyone can contribute to, but it also has some serious scientific gains. So the Atlas Everyone can submit a checklist through the eBird app. It's easy, it takes a minute, um, but that checklist will really, really benefit conservation because it gives a, it's part of a bigger picture that allows us to see what the, what the state of New Zealand's bird life is in a way that we haven't before, or in the last 20 years at least, we haven't seen. So it, it's so important and it bridges the gap between just regular people and scientists and conservation workers on the ground so well because it's something that everyone can buy into. So the Atlas is going to be a powerful tool to move us forward and start making better decisions for restoring our natural ecosystems and the wildlife within them. So we need to lead from the front. We need to get as many people as possible involved in this nationally significant project. So to get started, Go to the Atlas website and there's a whole lot of resources there. But ultimately, download the eBird app and get out there and start atlasing. We've made it as simple as could possibly be.